Dr. Kalesi was the one that was finally the one assigned to my case. One of the most challenging things we deal with as doctors are aneurysms or weakening the arteries of the brain. And so Mr. Johanning is a terrific, very high functioning guy who was unfortunate to be born with a pretty significant aneurysm of what's called the intercommunicating artery, which is where two of the major arteries of his brain join together. We have two major ways of treating those kind of problems, either with open surgery to close that aneurysm with a clip or using catheters to fill that aneurysm with coils. I am actually trained in both methods, and so when he came to me, we actually had a series of conversations about what the best option was in him, and we elected to try to close that aneurysm with catheters, and we were fortunately very successful in doing that. After we closed the aneurysm to stop him from having a bleed, we obviously had to manage him for the bleed that he already had, and so he stayed in the hospital with us for over a week, and I worked very closely with our neurocritical care team to make sure, obviously, he's done as well as he has. It's a top-notch group. They, uh, they saved my life. You know, they really knew what they were doing, I think, with, 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 with my condition. Aneurysms are actually fairly common. Uh, there are about 30,000 aneurysms a year in the United States. Uh, about half of those aneurysms present ruptured. Ideally, and, and this is you know, what, what's so important, is if you learn from some other way that you have an aneurysm, it's very, very important to get evaluated by a neurosurgeon, especially a neurosurgeon who's actually trained in both techniques. Uh, because then they're able to give you the best and most informed opinion about whether it needs to be treated and if it does, what your best option is.